Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. So today's video is kind of like a YouTube like OG style video. So I'm gonna do like a what's in my bag, but also review the bag that everything is in because I was recently gifted this gorgeous bag from my bag and I just absolutely adore it. I think it's one of my favorite things I've ever had. And this is actually something that I was planning on buying myself. It just so happened that they wanted to gift me a bag. They sold this one and I thought, kill two birds with one stone and just ask if this could be the one that I was gifted. And they very kindly said yes. So as a disclaimer, I didn't pay for this bag but it was one that I was actually literally looking at for so long and I was just trying to justify buying it, but obviously because I've just bought a car and yada yada. So it is something I was planning on buying, but because of the fact that it was gifted and it obviously didn't come in like a box and all that kind of thing, I thought rather than doing like an unboxing of it, I would do like a review of the bag and what's in it because I know that it is a very small bag and a lot of people have kind of said that it's a bit too small. So I thought I would show you how much I cram in here and kind of just review the size of it, the zips, the pockets, like etc. Basically like a normal unboxing, but showing you what's inside. So as a general overview, this is the Marc Jacobs snapshot camera bag. And to be honest, it is pretty snazzy. So it looks like this. It's got the kind of square, not even square. It's like a, oh my God, what's it called? What's a rectangle that's 3D? I can't remember the name of it, but basically it's a very like boxy style. It's got the two zips with the contrasting color at the top and this strap, which just says Marc Jacobs and has the little gold detailing through. So this bag comes in like, when I say about 100 styles, I am not even joking. There is so many colors, prints, designs, everything. You can get a thin strap, you can get the fat strap, you can get different colored straps. The straps mix and match with each bag. So if you had multiple or you could just buy the straps on their own. The actual bag itself comes in like hundreds of different colorways. It's like spotty ones, stripy ones, neon ones, um, pink, blue, black, like literally everything. But I obviously being me went for the really classic kind of French gray one, which is a kind of like, light tan colour which obviously as you know from watching my videos is the colour that I pretty much wear to death. So this is just kind of my colour palette in a bag and I also really liked that this strap was just the gold and black and white. So to summarise the strap, um, it's basically just like clipped on each side with these giant fastenings which are gold and they have this gorgeous branding on them as well which I really liked. So it just says Marc Jacobs and it's quite a solid piece of hardware which Sounds really stupid to care about, but I find buckles like this on obviously cheaper like high street brand bags. They sometimes break really easy, but I like this as like a beefy hardware. Um, and then the strap is obviously kind of thick. So when you wear it like cross bodied, oh, it's quite a thick strap. But I kind of like that it's a bit of a thicker strap. I think it looks really nice on. And I like the fact that the colorway is really simple as well. Like, I just love the, the colors and stuff on it. Um, I did also look at getting one of the other snapshot ones, which had the like thin just leather strap but I ended up going for this one because I thought it was really cute. For the actual bag it obviously looks like this, it is a square as I said. There is two zips on the top which actually open in different directions so one opens that way and one opens that way and then it's just got the embossed Marc Jacobs New York on the top there as well which I thought was really sweet and I love this logo that they have I think it's just a really nice simple detail not too fancy it's not heavy branding or anything it's just like a nice simple gold detailing on the front the zips are obviously gold as well and then there is this pocket on the back which I guess you could use it for like your oyster card or like something like that but I've actually used it for a little mirror so my Aspen or Mayfair bag came with this little mirror and I thought it was the perfect thing to just slip in the back of my bag and then when I'm doing my lipstick and stuff I can literally just pull it out and do my lipstick into that and it fits really nicely you can't really tell that it's not part of the bag you obviously can see like roughly the shape but that's the side that's against my body anyway if I've got it cross bodied so you can't really tell but I'm gonna go ahead and open it and show you what's inside I'm getting like tangled in the strap so when you open it with these beautiful little zips they are also branded which I thought was really really sweet and I love the fact they've got these like French grey leather tassels on as well to help you pull so I kind of split mine into two so the front is kind of random handbaggy things and then the back is like essentials actually let me start at the back the back's probably an easier place to start so the zips are like so and they obviously half in the middle so there is like a minimal space because obviously if you had the one zip and it was just one big bag that's quite a chunky little amount of space like I don't know if my vlog camera would actually fit in here which is kind of a deal but it's not like I don't carry it with me every single day so it doesn't really matter but it's something to take note of if you are a youtuber if not obviously you'll be fine. So the back pocket here, as you can see, let me zip this back up. As you can see, is kind of small. There's not a whole lot of space in here, but there is a little pocket, which is why I have put my card in the back one. So I've just popped my little card holder from Aspinall. So it's just got my initials and stuff on, really, really cute. And that basically just lives in the back pocket because that's kind of what I need to get out all of the time. But as I said, you could put that in here. This is just a little bit too chunky. So that just slots into the little back pocket. 
and then also in here I just have my iPhone which obviously needs to fit somewhere easily to get to because I use it all the time and that's kind of like just the two back bits that I always need to get to so they are there. The front pocket is kind of a mismatch of everything and anything so there is a few random little bits in here so I'm going to start going through and show you what is in this little pocket. I think you'll actually be quite amazed by how much fits in here. This is kind of everything that is squashed into there so first up we have some ibuprofen because I get headaches all the time and it's kind of a necessity. Then we have a vlog camera battery because obviously again the vlog camera dies quite often if I'm out and about so I need to just change the batteries and stuff. I have this which I actually picked up in Marrakesh and this is orange blossom roll on like perfume I guess you could say. But this is basically for anxiety so if I get really anxious when I'm out and about you literally just put a tiny bit on your temples and your wrists and it calms you down really quickly so that stays in my bag for like if I'm going to meetings and stuff and I'm a bit anxious or if I'm just like out and about. Then we have my keys so it's just my car key and my house keys with a little J on there. Um, very basic but obviously something I need all the time. Don't always need my car key but I leave it on my house keys just so I don't lose it. And then I also have this lipstick from Fenty. So this is the Fenty Stunner Lip Paint and it's my everyday shade. I'm not wearing it right now. I'm actually wearing, I can't remember what it's called but I'm wearing one of the lip glosses. But this is Unbuttoned. It is honestly the best thing I've ever used. It makes my lips look really big. It's really really nice on and it's just a perfect shade. So that always comes with me. And then finally we have this which is actually a little card reader that plugs into your phone. So basically this end obviously plugs into your phone and then you put your SD card into here and you can just get pictures off from your cameras really quickly to your phone so if I'm out and about vlogging or like for example when I was in like Venice and stuff I would just put my card straight into here and then I could get videos and stuff off to put on Instagram stories or like pictures and stuff so it basically saved me and Sam having to keep getting the laptops out we literally just got this out plugged it in took all our pictures off went through them on our phones and it's really handy and these are literally like 30 pounds in Apple and it's the best thing I've ever bought gadget wise um but that's basically everything that squashes in here the vlog camera situ I haven't quite worked out yet but I think it probably would fit I just have to take a couple of the random bits out of here maybe like the stupid things I don't really need like the giant car key I could probably take that off um, and then it would free up some space and stuff but as a whole this bag is really great I've used it a couple of times now and I'm finding it really easy to not like manage but I'm finding it to be a good size which I know that I was really worried about at first but if you are wanting just an everyday bag it's honestly so handy it's just a great size like I said it fits everything it needs to fit um, I really like the interchangeable straps and stuff as well I think it's a really nice feature and they're really good quality so if you did kind of have this bag and you wanted to use it long term you could change straps so I think I would probably be inclined to buy the plain leather strap as well just so I've got kind of the option depending on what I feel like using and also you could kind of use it as a clutch like obviously a lot of people maybe wouldn't but you could just take the strap off and use it as a little like box clutch because it is that kind of size but in all I really love it I think it's a great little investment piece and I'm definitely glad that I got it if you are wondering price wise these are only about 290 pounds the style and the color that you get varies slightly depending on obviously what it looks like and the finishing and stuff so the leather strap is a little bit more expensive but this particular one is 290 and I know they have different ones that range from I think about 150 upwards so there's always an affordable one that you can get because where it's a little bit cheaper it's just kind of a little bit more affordable it's not splashing a thousand pounds on a bag that you may potentially never use and it's also a great little everyday style like I said so if you are just going out and about then it's really really handy to have and obviously if you need like a laptop and stuff for work this probably isn't the bag for you but just on the weekends and stuff if you're going out don't really need very much then it's perfect so I highly recommend I am very much loving it I think it's just a great little size as I keep saying but that's the end of the video guys I really hope you enjoyed kind of learning a little bit more about the bag seeing what's in my bag Normally if I have a bigger bag I fill it with loads of like absolute crap so it's probably better for me to have that size so I can't just shove anything and everything in it but I'm really loving it. It's one of my first designer bags and I think it is beautiful so thank you very much to my bag for gifting it to me. Hope you enjoyed this video guys and I will see you in my next one. Bye!